We're here at IMCS 2022 on the Mate Work Holding Stand. I'm here at Benjamin Harrison. But there's apparent, I know you guys don't want to believe it, but apparently there are people still using conventional machine vices every day on their VMCs and all their, their other machine tools as well, Benjamin. What are the problems associated with that? Why should they stop using those conventional uh, vices? That's a very good question, Rowan. But before I address that, I'd like to talk a little bit about, about uh, Mate Precision Technology. Please do. Mate Precision Technologies has been around for about 60 years. Uh, we manufacture precision tooling for the sheet metal industry. And recently, over the past couple of years, we've developed internally a work holding system to be used on VMCs and HMCs. And this has, been, this has not been uh, just a random design you guys have come up with just to sell another product. This has actually been developed over 60 years of you manufacturing and making soft production every day. You know all the problems that all your customers are, are having every day. What are those problems? Well, uh, you are correct. We, we, even though we uh, have been uh, manufacturing for 60 years uh, sheet metal tooling, uh, over that period we've developed our own fixtures, and so we've developed thousands and thousands of fixtures, and we've decided to take that internal experience and come up with a new work holding system for the uh, chip uh, creating market. Um, regarding your question about the conventional vices, um, you know, some of the pain points that customers feel these days have to do with um, repeatability, have to do with uh, ease of use, and also have to do with um, setup times, which are very important these days to do, to cut up, uh, cut down on setup times and increase their productivity. And what I like to do is talk about each of those points and specifically referring to our modular zero point work holding system. Absolutely, because there's, there's operator ergonomics is a big thing that people don't necessarily think about. They don't think, well, if my people on the shop floor, if they're struggling to use the machine vices, they've got to clear out the chips every day. They've got to uh, find, go and find the one spanner that they're using. Um, if I solve them, if I make it life a little bit easier for them, I might be saving 10 minutes per person per machine a, week, uh, a day. And that can save a lot of money in the long run. You are correct. And you can, actually, the, the amount of time you can save is quite more considerable than 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Okay, even more than 10 minutes. Yes, so there, there's quite a bit of cost saving. If you can make work holding no longer a variable, but you have control over it, and it's easy to use, and the setup time is very short. So no more clocking up, hopefully, with a new system. Um, can we go through a little bit about the, the, the in-process savings as well? So in-process, I mean, if you get a bit of vibration while you're working on the uh, machine yeah, tool, right. chatter. Yeah. Yes, yes. So, you know, one of the uh, pain points that customers do have is, uh, and it has to, it's related to repeatability, and that has to do with uh, the quality of the part that they're producing. And many times, if you do have an unstable um, work-holding system, it can cause vibration or harmonics, and that results in either uh, shorter tool life or just poor part quality. So bad work holding is another thing for the not just the production manager, but the operators to worry about every day. And it's uh, the whole point of, of, of buying good machine tool accessories, quality accessories, is about reducing all the things they've got to worry about every day. You're absolutely right. Correct. Okay, show me a demo. Show me how you can solve all of those problems, please. Sure will. So right now what we have here is, is our base and vice system, and this is a zero-point modular system. And I want to explain what we mean by those two concepts. Uh, the base right here, this is one of our bases. Uh, this base is specifically for our 52 style, which refers to the distance between the pull studs on the vice. It's 52 millimeters. This base is modular in the sense that I can, depending on the table configuration I have on my sheen, I can use one base or a series of bases. And you could set those up uh, a, long, a long ways and you could use maybe three vices to grab one long part, I guess, could you? That's, well, that's another way you could be modular. That is correct. Either, either you can use each base individually or you also can do uh, two bases, you use them in tandem to hold a, 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 longer, a longer piece, a longer part. So in the base itself, we have this point here and this is where you find your zero or your point of origin with the probe. I take my vise, which have the pull studs on it, and I mount it onto the base. I and then you just got to screw up one single screw. There's four zero point uh, little plugs here, but all you got to do is screw one screw in. There's no uh, mucking about to try and actuate the system itself. No, not at all. Actually, the system inside the base, it's a yoke system that we have, and it pulls all the pull studs to the center of the base. Right to the center of the base, so that is making sure they've got equal force and the force vectors are all to the center. It's all about centering that whole system, the, the whole mechanical system. That is correct. And we do that with this yoke system internally in the base, which has greater surface contact on the pole studs than what you see in other modular systems. 
Okay. And there's a lot of mechanical thought that's gone into every single piece of this that results in a great repeatability. What is that repeatability, Benjamin? The repeatability between base and uh, vice is approximately two tenths or about five microns. Which is absolutely incredible for such a big, complicated system. Yes. It's amazing you managed to achieve that. It's obvious the amount of mechanical expertise that's gone into this system. Let's keep going then. Show me, I don't know, do you want to show me how quick the jaws are to change and what the jaws are made of? Yes, but before I do that, let me show you that this, the jaws are self-centering. So. As I close the jaws, you can see it's self-centering. So both jaws are moving. We don't have a single fixed jaw on a moving jaw. We have both moving right to the center. Correct. And since I'm already on zero point, and whatever I put in the part here, I will always be on center line. That's the benefit of a zero point modular system. Are you telling me you don't have to ever clock, or as soon as you clock this base up, you would never have to clock up this base ever again, as long as you don't take it off? That is correct. That will always sit at a point of origin or a zero point. So it's clear how there's, there's loads of save, savings and setup times, especially the clocking up side, which people, if people especially don't have a machine probe, they're, 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 they'd have to get a wobble bar out, align yes. it, check the wobble bar. That takes such a long time. Correct, you're right. And so that's the idea behind a modular zero point system. It takes away some of the uh, additional time if you're using uh, a conventional vice to do the setups. So now what I want to show you is a very special feature in our vice system, and that's the jaws themselves. We offer the jaws in 60, 80, and 120 millimeter width, and the jaws are a quick change system, which I want to show you. Easy as that. All you've got to do is pull a little bit. There's no special tooling. Nope. All you've got to do is pull, and that's it. They're straight off. That is correct. There's no fasteners associated with the jaws. I can turn the jaws around, and they're interchangeable from side to side. So there's, there's no jaw one, jaw two. They're not paired. You have the same. Uh, the same dimensional repeatability whether you flip them around or whether you use two different jaws on, on each side. Correct, that is correct. Now let's say, before we move on, uh, I want to talk a little bit more about the, our jaws here. We do have three points of contact or, or clamping that we have on each jaw. We have the flat surface, we have the serrated teeth on both sides, and then we have the uh, dovetail also on both sides. Which I've never seen before in my life, a tiny little dovetail form here. And then you, if you imagine how much you could, you'd have to machine, there is not much material you're wasting compared to, I guess, I've seen other dovetail forms that are much bigger and you'd lose maybe 10 millimeters of material. Yes, that's correct. It's a very, very fine dovetail, very fine serrated tooth pitch as well. So depending on what your part requirements are, or your machining requirements are, you either can use the flat face, the serrated tooth, or the dovetail. Okay, so surely these little serrated teeth, they could only be used in a soft material like aluminium, right? That's correct. They can, they can be used in aluminium, but they also could be used in some harder materials as well. They do have a, a, a superb uh, clamping force, so many times you're not going to be able to have to pre-mark your material to use our serrated teeth. You can put, you can eliminate that step, eliminate that process, and go directly to machining. Yeah, because we're all about eliminating setup times, not yep. about bringing an extra process trying to get your part on the machine. Correct. That's right. Now, one thing I want to talk about, let's say you don't have a flat surface to hold on to, but you actually have a radius or a contour surface, and I need to make some soft jaws. The soft jaws have the same system. So the exact same base on the bottom? That is correct. So I said I put in my set of soft jaws, and then I make the contour or machine the contour that I want for my soft jaws. So as long as the soft jaw has this adapter plate on it, it becomes part of our quick change system where I can change from a soft jaw to a straight jaw. And you, if you imagine if you bought, if you made loads of fixturing, you had it all on the shelf, if you hadn't marked it up, you'd have to have someone who had it all in their head, what fix, piece of fixturing was for what product. Instead, you've got all of the standard products which you can just pull off and use when you need to. And then if you want to, you can have all of these on a shelf, marked up, know exactly what product they're for. That's correct. And what you do is you eliminate your setup time. That is fantastic. So one little question that people would be thinking, well, I don't want to have to pay for an aluminum block. Can they just buy the single bases? That is correct. We, you know, we do sell the uh, blanks if they want them in carbon steel and aluminum, but we also just offer the adapter plate, which has the uh, pocketed in for a quick jaw uh, change system. So you can manufacture your own blanks and just mount them on this adapter plate. So for those customers using uh, a conventional vice and they're absolutely sick of it, they need this system, who do they get in contact with? Well, in the States, they can go to uh, mate.com and find out who's their local dealer is. And in the UK, they can get in touch with Leader Truck.